My name is Sara, and today we will be talking about Conva, a solution that will perfect your language speaking capabilities. Now, before we start, let me ask you a simple question. How satisfied are you with your business and English level speaking capabilities? Do you see the importance of these skills, about their everyday use and how they affect not just our chances of getting a job, but also our confidence? Now, 54% of all the content in the internet is on English, and this number keeps increasing. Uh, most of the companies today require from their employees good speaking skills. In the Bosnia and Herzegovina alone, chances of getting an employment increase by up to 75% if your English is good, while globally this rate only goes by up to 25%. This puts developing countries in a very bad position when it comes to English and employment. Furthermore, many of our peers and colleagues are scared to even ask a simple question in English. And 70, based on our survey, 71% of individuals are nervous when publicly speaking English, like me for now. So, now we'll be talking about our solution. We present you a mobile app that will have a virtual English partner for you to practice your business English. You can assess it anywhere you want, as long as you have your phone or tablet with you. You can log in with an existing account or sign up. Sign up is pretty forward. In a couple of steps, you're done. You can either buy one of our packages or continue with a free version. Also, you can then choose what would you like to practice. For example, job interviews, internship interviews, conference calls, seminars, and meetings. Later on, you can also choose your field of focus. What's left is to open your microphone and start your session. We'll be answering question by question and each question will be recorded. Later on, you can either choose to listen to your feedback or you can read your feedback. And while reading your feedback, if you're not satisfied with one of your answers, you can try again. Finally, you can find general advice on each conversation and topic find in the application to get ready for any kind of uh, interview or any kind of speech in real life. You can also track your progress. You can find uh, all of your record recordings in the library that will be organized by date or type. Now, as far as for the market, we will primarily focus on Balkan. We have 21 million non-native English speakers in the Balkans, which equates to $1. Billion, $51 billion revenue. Further, furthermore, we have 52,000 individuals that are that would like to improve their English speaking skills. And if we obtain 50,000 users in the first four years after the launch, we will get $1 million. Besides the free version where we have time limited sessions and ads, we'll offer two subscription options, one for $7.99, a single pack, and one for $50.99, a family pack, with all of the features unlocked. This will give us 71.88 average yearly subscription fee per use, which is equal to $72,000 if we obtain 1,000 users in a year. As for our competition, we know about Duolingo. Duolingo is amazing for introducing you to a new language. However, it doesn't get you further away from basics. On the other side, we have online courses such as Udemy, which are way too expensive and are not consistent and flexible enough. On the other side, our application, Convap, is a, is a tool that will offer you to practice and perfect your English speaking skills in a professional setting. This is our team. We consist of a group of young individuals who are keen and enthusiastic about uh, progress of developing countries, about their economical and social factors. We are uh, we connected from various backgrounds such as mechanical, electric, software engineering, as well as marketing to try and tackle this challenge. We also have some goals. By the end of 2021, we plan on going online with our application on iOS and Android platforms. Immediately after that, we plan on having our first customers. And then we are trying to reach or plan on reaching the break-even point in September of 2024. By the end of, end of the 2025, we'll generate, plan on generating $1 million revenue. Finally, since CONWAP would require modern technology, including artificial intelligence and speech recognition software, we are looking for somebody who's ready to develop our product. We are offering 85% of our company for $85,000. Also, we offer all of our time and effort for this startup since we are extremely passionate about connecting developing countries with the rest of the world. Thank you, and we are ready to answer all of your questions. Thank you very much, CONWAP.
I'm now opening up for questions. I see David's very quick with his camera. So David, you're off first again. Okay, thank you. Um, um, thank you for the presentation. Um, just could you go back one slide on what kind of funding you're looking for? I just wanted to make sure I understand that. So you're looking for $85,000 in return for 85% share, shares of your company. Is that what I'm reading? Eldin, will you please just? Yes, that's, that's exactly right. Okay, um, and uh, what is what will this money be used for? Uh, for research and development mostly, and some of it for marketing, but most of the price is going to come for research and development since it is a slightly high-end technology that we're gonna need for this. Okay, but do you, do you guys have already developed an MVP or anything like a prototype? No, we still haven't. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, anyone Anyone else? Panelists, we have Amra Omaragic. So Amra, you're next. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Yeah, it, it's quite unusual that you're asking for 85% of your company. It, it's a, it would be the majority share. So if somebody would come in to, to be a strategic partner. So maybe it's something that you want to think about again. I wanted to ask about the products. I understand now it's a um, very early stage now. Uh, however, I, I didn't quite understand uh, the product versus the team. Do you have people on your team who are actually proficient in English teaching and will they be able to build the product which will actually serve as a English uh, learning platform? So the experience in that uh, when it comes to team, thank you. Uh, I would actually like to answer this question. Uh, I'm actually a native English speaker, so and I do have experience when it comes to teaching mostly children, English people, non-native speakers. So when it comes to that part, I could absolutely help a lot. Okay, thanks. Thank you. We have Sanin Saracevic with the next question. Hey guys. Uh, don't, don't, don't give 85% uh, of the company <laughs> your first investment round. Uh, so so what, is, what is really the expertise that you guys bring to, to the table here? And how, how is this system uh, support, supposed to work, really? Can you just real briefly walk us to the, to the, to the interaction, little, the little deeper level uh, between the user and, and the app? What is really supposed to be happening there? I didn't quite get it. Sure, well, I can answer that. Uh, the user would, would really have a simulation of a real conversation so it wouldn't be like a uh, if you're something like duolingo which you get a question then you get an answer then you get a question which is quite repetitive and really doesn't doesn't help users get f further from basic so what we're trying to do is really simulate a real situation where people can react and it's going to be dynamic although the technology would require that the actual virtual assistant is also dynamic and can adapt to the answer, which would require speech recognition and speech recognition software. So it would really, we're imagining a actual conversation that's not sort of template based. So, so the system is dynamically adjusting the conversation based on what, you, what you're saying, which means it's also understanding completely what, what is being said to the system, right? It's analyzing it as, as you go. Yes, in a way, we, so, sort of like a Siri, Siri or Alexa, but way more narrowed down to our field of focus. So if a user would say something that's really not, not important to this conversation, the software would sort of steer him back because itself it, would, it wouldn't be able to sort of have a general conversational ability, but mostly in this field that we're trying to improve. Who, who of you on the team has experience in that field of language processing? Uh, no one in our team. Okay, thank you. 